Oh, hello there. So, this is my mom introducing me to someone. Oh, this is my son, Jake. He always dresses like that, you know. He wishes he were born in the 40s. This, this is me. Golden 1940s. Hi. <laughs> so, in case you couldn't tell, I think a lot of old stuff's really neat. I like old clothes and old cameras and old music. I like a lot of old music records especially. Records are really fun. And I dress like a crazy person all the time. And because of this, it's generally assumed I'd rather live in the past. You know, when men were men and everyone wore the same hats I do. This is not true. Well, the hat one is. I think everyone should wear fedoras because they're cool, but getting back to the main point. First of all, that phrase is a little problematic just semantically. I'm 18, right? So if I were born in the 40s, I'd be, let's say 1942, I'd be the age I am now in 1960, which would be fun for like a week, you know? Although in this scenario, I wouldn't know about all the neat stuff we'd have in the future, so I probably wouldn't mind. There's a lot of really neat history packed into 1960. Elvis, JFK, a lot of civil rights stuff, Cuban Revolution, space. But that's all over the country and the world, and at best, an 18-year-old kid would only be able to see that stuff on TV, you know, probably while working at a you know, late shift at a terrible little hamburger place in the middle of nowhere, which, that's no better than seeing it from the future. On top of that, half the records I listened to hadn't even been written yet, and if I did make home movies, I couldn't do this because 8mm film is super expensive. And filming yourself just talking, you know, just talking, right? Like this, that's all I'm doing, talking, would be considered very wasteful and also would be prohibitively expensive. And I mean, this is what I like doing. Now, if we assume that by born in the 40s, you meant lived in the 40s, that's slightly different, but mostly worse. For example, they didn't have good commercially available antibiotics until like 1945. That's halfway through the decade for those of you playing along at home. I would be dead at this point. I mean, I have never been good at fighting off infections. If there's a 24 hour bug going around, I have it for two weeks. When I was a baby, I had an ear infection like once a week. I'm not even kidding. Well, I am kidding. It's a little bit of an exaggeration, but not a huge exaggeration. In 1930-something, I would have caught a cold and died. Simple as that. But let's assume, for the sake of this thing, that I didn't die of an ear infection, or lung cancer, or lead poisoning, and I lived to the ripe old age of 18 in the golden 1940s. Let's not forget that if I had grown up in the past, I wouldn't be me, really. I'd be influenced by different stuff, I'd have had different experiences, Homeschool wasn't a thing, so I'd probably be a lot tougher. <laughs> you know, have that, that, that wussy spirit beat out of you. In the 1940s, women and black people weren't seriously considered real people by the white guys that ran everything. So, as a white guy, I'd probably also be a total ah jerk. Gonna go with jerk, keeping it PG. On top of that, you know, I'm 18, I'd probably be drafted into World War II and die in a ditch in France or somewhere, you know? I've always wanted to see France. Not from the bottom of a ditch bleeding to death. Let's lighten it up, <laughs> okay? Bring it back around to music. What sort of music could 1940s me buy? Not the fun, up-tempo stuff I listen to now. That's all devil music to 1940s me. So I'm guessing a lot of Artie Shaw and the Dorsey Brothers. It's fun music for like an afternoon or a party, but not everyday listening. For sure, I mean, gets in your head, messes you up. I like it here in the future. You know, we've got the internet and cheap cameras and HD video and all the records are a dollar. It's great. I mean, it's still not perfect. We haven't fixed anything. But I think as a society, you know, we're working on it. And I wouldn't trade living in the future for anything, time machine. Would trade living in the future for a time machine, but I mean, I don't want to live in the past, but like visiting it for a week or something, I think that'd be really cool. I mean, who doesn't want to do that?
there's a lot of really neat history packed into 1960. Um, whoa, whoa, forgot all the list. For example, fur, 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 fur. For example, they didn't have good commercially available antibiotics. Antibiotics. Fur and antibiotics. Where the hell am I from?